And with a puff of Dominican cigar smoke, we begin our latest Two Hands in a Face audio segment. On this occasion, we're taking a look at the New X Super Mini Chorus, a feature-packed mini pedal platform device. Wonderful sounding device. I'll tell you right up front, I'm a big fan of this pedal. And we'll explain what we're doing after we introduce the bland tone that we'll be enhancing with this device. Sounds something like this. Very straightforward, nothing special, a little bit of reverb going on. And let's enhance this sound by going straight into the Super Mini Chorus Pedal's chorus function. All right. Nice, wet sounding chorus. Of course, I've got it on relatively high settings. I'm gonna back off the intensity a little bit and also the width and bring it back down to a more level sounding, more traditional sounding chorus. Something a little more subtle. Beautiful sounding effect. Very versatile, of course, like any good chorus, you can exaggerate the speed and the depth and approach the Leslie area of tonal quality. Let's check that out. Go completely off the deep end. it pulls off that effect beautifully. Let's back the controls off a little bit and get into the pitch modulation feature. The second of three features beautifully executed in this ultra compact format and the pitch modulator sounds a bit like this. we can alter settings, increase its width a little bit, increase the intensity a little bit, leave the speed about where it is. And get kind of a chorus response or sound or, or tonal landscape without the phasing part of chorusing. It's kind of a beautiful effect, truly. And we can really dial out the intensity and the width and get just the faintest of pitch modulated sound. sounding pedal. Truly it is. We're going to go ahead and demonstrate and get into its third feature, which is its flanging. And the flanger will start at relatively low settings in terms of depth and speed. There it is. There's that 70s flange sound. And we will leave the intensity down while we dial in more width. Turn up the speed just a skosh. And there's a sound we might have heard from the 70s if you were there. I was, and I was buying records. But if you weren't, maybe you bought CDs in the 80s. Maybe you're 12 and just learning the guitar. That's cool with me. You still want one of these pedals. Let's try the 
flanger on some different settings yet. I'm going to turn up the speed just a little bit. And I'm going to dial almost all the way out the intensity control and enhance the width just a little bit. Beautiful sound. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to dial out the width and I'm going to bring in the intensity. Tell me that's not a vintage sound. host of beautiful sounds available through this midget sized box. Of course, many pedals are the rage now because they make the setup so much easier. Everything's more compact. Everything's easier to control. And there's an even more classic kind of vintage flanging sound. So I'm going to dial it back to its home turf of chorus and enjoy a little bit more of that. Beautiful sounding pedal, highly recommended, and with a puff of Dominican smoke, we're out until next time. Thank you for sharing five minutes with us.